I want to share something special with you because I got this letter from um, the United States, from my friends, the Desert Twisters. It's a play group in Arizona and they recently had their second anniversary, so their two year anniversary. And they organized an event, maybe maybe you've seen it, uh, it's been all around, the Strip Mine Express. And on those Strip Mine Express, there were some unique, unique cards. And uh, I asked I asked my friend Kath, you know, um, she is, she's one of the founders, I said, is it possible to maybe get those cards? And I guess what's in here. So um, I'm gonna open it, I'm not gonna say what it is yet. I'm just gonna open it up and um, inform you a little bit about the background. So uh, let's get to it. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And like I said, we're going to open up something special sent to me by my friends, the Desert Twisters. And I'm really, really looking forward to open this. Let me, okay, let's get a pair of scissors. Let's get cracking. So these are some special cards. They were especially made for the tournament, but the project of these cards um, was actually, the design was actually already underway. So it was just something that came together perfectly. And I'm, I've been told that the head designer, so the person that spearheaded this project and did all the graphics on these cards uh, is James from the Sin City Fallen Angels. So shout out to you, James. I'm really looking forward to see these. I've, I've already seen them on, on Instagram. They looked, looked stunning and so I had to have them. And uh, I think the back of these cards is designed by old school Craig. He made the back of these cards. So there we go. You can already kind of see through it what it is. And these cards were played at the Strip Mine Express. And here we go. There's a little Desert Twister sticker. I'll put a link, by the way, to uh, the Sin City Fallen Angels and also to the Desert Twisters uh, in the description down below. So if you're interested in these play groups, check out the links and you can find out how you can get in touch with them. So as we can see, this is a beautiful Mox Pearl. So these are actually Power 9 proxies. And what they did at the Strip Mine Express is they sold these proxies and also actually before the event started and the proceeds went to the Phoenix Children's Hospital. And um, actually, the Desert Twisters have raised money for this cause before. There's probably a little picture now of Kath actually uh, holding up um, the money that they raised last year, like a, a check with the money that they raised the year before. And they also did the same thing this year uh, by selling these beautiful proxies. And what I kind of like is that they said, uh, we're just going to proxy out the Power 9 for this Strip Mine Express. So that's kind of... What, what they did. And then as uh, part of that, they had this unique Power 9 set. So these cards and these cards, the art of these cards is based on the Gamma test card. So this is the Mox Pearl provides one white mana tap, right? So the design is comparable with the design of the Gamma test cards. Now, um, maybe you're not familiar with the test card. So when Magic started, um, you know, actually when it wasn't even printed, Richard Garfield, the founder of Magic. Wow, look at these, by the way. Lovely going through all the mocks in here. Mox Pearl, Mox Ruby, Mox Emerald, Mox Jet. So we're still going to get the Sapphire. Uh, so Richard Garfield, of course, he just started out like you would start out any game, right? You, you have some pieces of paper. You start to draw your ideas with card names. You have a little piece of card. So the first set of test cards was called Alpha Test Cards. And um, you know what? I'll actually show you a little picture of the Alpha Test Cards. So they were just really, really rough. They were nothing like the cards we know today. And after the Alpha Test Cards, they started making out more precise copies of the cards with a little bit more detail. And those were known as the Beta uh, Test Cards. And you have to understand that Alpha Test Cards and Beta Test Cards they were all printed before the alpha and beta set. So it's not like the alpha test cards were made for the alpha set and the beta test cards were made for the beta set. No, that's not the case. No, alpha, beta, they were test cards that were made before Magic actually got printed. So there were ways to test out the game. 
Um, and then the third edition of the test cards, that those were the gay uh, the gamma test cards. And I know that there are some players out there who actually collect them. And as you can understand, they're quite rare. So the design on these cards is based on those ga uh, gamma test cards. And that's why I think they're just so cool. They're just not just your regular proxy. They're different, right? There's a story attached to it. So like I said before, this is this uh, designed by James of the Sin City Fallen Angels. And here we go, here we have a time twister, wow. So here is, it gets pretty interesting. Look at that design. And also you see instead of like the blue symbol and the two, it's just U and two, so U stands for blue, right? Because the B in magic stands for black. And so they, they picked the U to stand for blue. Both players reshuffle their decks, hands and discards, cut their opponent's deck and start with seven fresh cards. How sweet is that? Really cool. Ancestral memory. So this is obviously Ancestral Recall. I guess the OG name was Ancestral Memory. One blue for an instant. Draw three cards. Insane. I wonder, they probably didn't realize how incredibly good this card is. I think, ooh, so we've got Ancestral Memory and then yeah, we've got the Time Walk, and the last is going to be the um, the Black Lotus. Time Walk, one in you is Sorcery, take an extra turn. Really, these they're really nice quality cards, by the way. Really good quality. They feel really good as well. And there is the Black Lotus. Wow, this is actually the first Black Lotus I own. Obviously, it's a proxy, but still. Provides three mana of any one color. Discard after use. May be used during an opponent's turn, but must be put into play on your turn. And what I want to what I want to show you, last but not least, is the special background of these cards, because it's really, it's really something. And like I said earlier, the background is designed by old school Craig. So I'm gonna turn it around. There you go. So here you see the Desert Twisters, right? The desert, the, the card that the group is named after. And also here you see Desert Twisters. So this is just really a unique and uh, unique project, a project out of love for the game. And like I said, what's extra cool is that all the proceeds of all these uh, proxy sets being sold goes to the Phoenix Children's Hospital, right? So it goes to a good cause and that's, it's something that maybe makes it extra special. And um, I kind of like that idea when you organize an event and you do stuff like this, you know, that makes the event kind of grow and, and it makes it so that people remember it and, and you're doing more than just playing magic. Um, so here are the lovely cards proxy set by the Desert Twisters from Arizona. Special thanks goes out to Calf for sending these up to me. Absolutely stunning. Now, if you want to have uh, your own set, uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can contact the Desert Twisters and you can actually ask them um, for a set. And, you know, maybe they're going to have a second print. I believe they had one print run of these. But if there's enough, um, if there are enough people interested, then um, I, I believe she told me they might consider doing a second print run. So if you're interested, reach out to them. Like I said, I'll uh, put the contact information in the description below. And for now, thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you wanna help out the channel, it's actually quite simple. Leave a like, become a subscriber, and um, leave a comment. All that stuff helps, sharing it on your socials also helps, it all helps the channel grow. Another thing you can do is you can become a patron of the channel. It already starts with $1 a month. And uh, how does that work? Again, simple. Click on the info card that's appearing right now. That will take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And there you can find all the details. Talking about the Patreon, let's go to the end scroll. And let's take a look at the fantastic, the amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the
just think it's a somber kazee. 